And that's how your Mavic Air 2 will hover if the IMU is not properly calibrated. Possibly. <laughs> what is an IMU or inertial measurement unit? It's basically a sensor. We have sensors in our everyday lives. There's one to let your car know that it's time to turn on the windshield wipers when rain is detected. There's one on the front of your phone by the camera here called the proximity sensor, which dims the phone screen. So the sensor, the IMU on your drone, calculates angular force and rate or speed and acceleration. And it's the IMU which plays a big part in keeping your drone stable while in flight. I'll give you a little demo here. So if you're hovering with your Mavic Air 2 and you get a tailwind, the drone will naturally tilt forward. Now the IMU sends information to the flight controller, which is basically the drone's brain. The flight controller makes some calculations and sends those to the drone's ESCs or electronic speed controllers, which adjust accordingly. So basically if you have the tailwind pushing the drone forward like so, the front prop arms are gonna I'm sorry, the front props are going to speed up and the rear are going to slow down and that will then return the drone to a stable position. So that's basically what the IMU is. When should you calibrate it? Well, DJI says that if the status indicators, which are the lights on the rear prop arms, are blinking red, that indicates an IMU error, definitely calibrate it then. If you get a warning within the DJI Fly app, you should probably calibrate the IMU. Also, if you have a hard landing or crash, not a bad idea to calibrate it. Lastly, when you first get your drone, when you take it out of the box, go ahead and calibrate the IMU and also the compass as well. Now that you know what the IMU is, when you should calibrate it, let me show you how to calibrate it. it just takes a couple minutes. All right, here we go. Before you begin to calibrate the IMU on the Mavic Air 2, it's absolutely imperative that you find a level surface to do this on. So with the drone and RC powered up, go ahead and access the settings menu of the Fly app and under safety, go down to where you see IMU and tap on calibrate. This will take you to the instructional menu, read through here. And once you press that start button, the calibration will begin. Start by placing the drone right side up and look at the image in the Fly app. When it tells you to rotate it to the right side, go ahead and proceed. You can also notice the status indicator lights will flash green when that part of the calibration has been completed, but you can also look at the Fly app as well. We go ahead and place the drone on the left side now. I want to point out that this video is not sped up. This is how long it takes to calibrate the IMU on the Mavic Air 2. It's really not a long process. Once it gets done here on the left side, we're going to go ahead and place the drone on its aft end or tail end so it's facing straight up. We'll go ahead and let it do its thing here. As you can see, it's almost done already. We're at 97%. Once we get through here, we'll go ahead and face it upside down so it's resting on its top. And this is the last part of the calibration. When it completes this part, it will go ahead and restart the aircraft and everything is all set and you're good to go. Excellent, you're now proficient with the Mavic Air 2 IMU. If you found this video to be helpful, I would really appreciate it if you like it and subscribe to the channel. And lastly, if you guys wanna see any more content on the Mavic Air 2 or other drones, check out Lettuce Drone, where I have a ton of in-depth blog posts and more videos as well. All right, thanks, we'll see you around.